Welcome to Moja. This video will demonstrate how to add a child as a dependent. This procedure is used by the staff member to add a child, biological, adopted, or stepchild, as a household member and or dependent. The determination as to whether the child becomes a household member or dependent will be made by the HR partner based on the information you provide in this transaction. The procedures for either situation are the same. For this procedure, the staff member or the HR administrator submit original documents to the HR partner or administrator, who verify the documents and allow the original applicant to submit a request through Emoja Employee Self-Service. The HR partner or administrator then receives the request and either accepts or rejects it. The applicant is notified of the decision. To begin, click on the Employee Self-Service tab. Click on the Entitlements link. Click on the Check Entitlement Eligibility link. In the Add Dependent Household Members section, click on the Apply Online link. Click on the Child tab to add a child. Select or enter a valid from date using the Day, Month, Year format. In this demonstration, we are entering 01-03-2015 as the valid from date. The valid from date should be, for a newborn child, the date would be the child's date of birth. For an adopted child, the date would be the date when the child was legally adopted. For a stepchild, the date of the marriage to the biological parent of the child provided the child lives with you or your entry on duty date if you're submitting the request after you are appointed or reappointed and your HR partner did not add your children as dependents at the time of your appointment. The valid to date automatically defaults to 31 12 9999. Type the child's first name exactly as it appears on the birth certificate or passport. Do not abbreviate or omit names. If the child has a middle name that also appears on the birth certificate or passport, enter that name as well. If the child has more than one nationality, enter the name exactly as it is spelled in the passport that will be used to obtain visas and travel for UN purposes. In this demonstration, we will enter the first name, Maya. The last name defaults to the staff member's last name. If it is different, enter the child's last name, in all capital letters, exactly as it appears on the birth certificate or passport. Do not abbreviate or omit names. In this demonstration, the child has the same last name as the staff member. We will type Annabelle. Click on the drop-down menu and select the child's gender. In this demonstration, the child is female. Select or enter the child's date of birth using the day, month, year format as it appears on the birth certificate. Even though it is not mandatory to complete the next three fields, it is suggested that you provide as much information as possible. For the country of birth, select from the list the country the child was born in. For the name at birth, enter the first, middle, and last name of the child as it appears on the birth certificate or passport, if applicable, such as in the case of adoption. For the birthplace, enter the city the child was born in. Click on the drop-down menu and select the UN recognized nationality of the child. For UN purposes, only one nationality is recognized. If the child has more than one nationality, enter the name exactly as it is spelled in the passport that will be used to obtain visas and travel for UN purposes. Click on the drop-down menu and select the child's marital status. In most cases, this will be single. Select or enter the marital status since date using the day, month, year format. In most cases, this will be the child's date of birth as it appears on their birth certificate. Click on the checkbox if the child resides with the staff member. If not, leave blank. In this demonstration, the child resides with the staff member. Indicate whether the child receives government assistance. If you select Yes, additional fields will pop up and you'll be required to enter the amount of government assistance the child receives and the currency. In this demonstration, the child does not receive government assistance. Click on the checkbox if the child is financially dependent on you. Proof of support is required if the child does not live with you and you are not the custodial parent. Click on the checkbox if the child is between the age of 18 and 21 years and in full-time school attendance. Proof of school attendance is required. In this demonstration, the child is not between the ages of 18 and 21. Click on the checkbox if the child is disabled. Medical certification must be obtained from the Medical Services Department. When you click this box, the HR partner will review the request for special dependency. Special dependency can be granted only after confirmation by the Medical Services that your child's condition is considered to be a disability. Therefore, if you plan to click this checkbox, please note that you should already have a certification of disability from the UN Medical Services. If you have not submitted the confidential medical reports offline to the UN Medical Services and obtained their approval of disability, you may leave this box unchecked. The HR partner will review this request for dependency and you may make an amendment to the submission to request special dependency once the certification of disability is obtained. In this demonstration, the child is not disabled. 
Click on the checkbox if you do not have custody of the child. In this demonstration, the staff member has custody of the child. Click on the Add button to attach all the required documents that have already been seen and verified by the HR Partner or HR Administrator. Be sure to upload only the copies with a verification stamp. In this demonstration, we'll be attaching the child's birth certificate. Please note, if this request is incomplete and all the required documents with the verification stamp are not attached, the HR Partner will reject your request and you'll need to submit a new request. Consult the list of requirements at the beginning of the quick reference and fact sheets for other types of situations. Click on the Browse button. The Choose File to Upload window will open. Select the required document. You should only upload PDF files. Click the Open button. Click OK to upload the document. The document has been attached. Repeat the steps for each required document. Click on the Terms and Conditions link and review the information. Review the terms and conditions and click on the close button when done. Click on the checkbox to acknowledge and accept the terms and conditions. Remember, you must submit the original required documents to the HR partner or HR administrator for verification prior to making the ESS submission. The HR partner will only approve requests that contain complete documentation or documentation that has been stamped as verified and seen by the HR partner or HR administrator. Click on the submit button. A message will appear indicating that your submission was sent to the HR Partner. Any submissions will appear in the Requests in Process section until they have been approved by the HR Partner. Remember, you have 30 days from the date the child becomes a dependent to enroll them into the insurance plan. You have now completed the Simoja Employee Self-Service video.